My name is Augusto Valeriani. I'm a researcher in um, media and uh, political communication at Bologna University here in, um, in Italy. And here at, in this course, I'm, I'm teaching on, on a course on media and migration. So basically, what, what we are doing here is trying to, to define the relationship between, between different uh, actors within the public sphere in order to, to, to define how different actors are interacting each other. And with different actors, I mean both officials, political actors, uh, media, and the public opinion in defining uh, frames and representation of migration as, as a process. So how media try to, to represent and to define the social representation of migration as a phenomenon. In this way, what we, are, what we are trying to do here is basically to understand which kind of balances of power are um, at work in, in the definition of, of migration as a process. So in particular, our focus is on framing process. Uh, with framing process, I mean the way in which migration as a phenomenon is framed within, within the media discourse. Uh, in particular, in this case, because I do think that representation, in representing a phenomenon like migration, uh, what is um, particularly re relevant within media discourse is defining, uh, framing uh, around the way you represent uh, um, migration. And, and in this process of defining, of, of defining frames, it is very interesting to understand how uh, journalism works as, as a practice so how um, news organization works in dealing with, with uh, migration as a phenomenon, and at the same time how both uh, political actors are relevant and even um, the public opinion is relevant in reinterpreting the, the, um, the issue and the item uh, proposed by media. And so this is the first part of the model. Then what, what we are doing here is trying to, to give uh, to, student a to students a representations uh, of uh, how uh, migration has been historically mm, represented within Italian media, uh, giving also uh, an account of how the peculiar structures of, of the Italian media systems has affected the way in which migration has been presented within the media. So it is about uh, how different uh, an evolution within the media system and in the Italian political system has affected the representation of migration. Finally, we have been, we are working on how a migrant themselves perform within the public sphere and within the media sphere in order to try to uh, affect the representation of themselves and in order to, pr to promote themselves as social actors within the media. And in particular, in this discourse, what, what we, have, we are focusing on is second generation migrants. I mean, I know that this concept of second generation is a sort of slippery concept, is, is, is a sort of, of a controversial concept. But at the same time, it is very interesting because it, it gives us the opportunity of understand, for understanding how uh, young uh, the offsprings of migrants are trying to develop strategies to perform them, to represent themselves within the public sphere as citizens. Because in Italy in particular, the issue of citizenship is particularly relevant for, for second generation migrants. And so um, I, I, I'm talking with students on how the issue of citizenship uh, is performed and how uh, second generation migrants try to use the, the media as an arena to push for their recognition as citizen and so to gain uh, attention for the issue of, of citizenship. So media within this model are, are considered mostly as an arena uh, and where uh, public actors, with, where social actors perform with different resources of power, of course, in order to try to uh, define frames, symbols, and um, representation of what migration is about. So basically this is what, what we are doing here, here 